Hey folks, today we're doing a camera test of the Moto X Pure Edition from 2015. That's when this phone is from. I managed to get a hold of one because I really wanted to try out the 4K camera on this thing. It has a Sony image sensor, so I figured we, why not give it a shot. Just like the last video, here is some of the red on this TV box. There's the exposure doing its thing. There's the yellow boom box back there. There's some low light situations. Let's see if I can turn the lamp on. Wonder if I can. Probably have to pause the video to do it. You can turn the light on. You just have to uh, select it in the settings before you record. That's kind of annoying. This uses the older um, camera app that Motorola has. So I suspect when this phone is updated to uh, Nougat, it'll be the newer app. At least I hope it is, because it's actually really nice to have that. Oh, let's give this a shot here. So that's that's the indoor test. Let's check out the outdoor stuff. All right, we're doing the outdoor test now in 4K. Every time I record, I have to select 4K. I'm really not sure why. That's pretty annoying. Probably because it's a fairly new feature on a flagship phone for the time. There's the kitty. Looks like there's some amount of stabilization in the video, which is nice. I don't know if it's optical or, or uh, software. I'd imagine it's software. Some more of these flowers here. Some color. Uh oh. <laughs> that plant's like falling out. <laughs> but these colors look pretty nice. Alright. Let's try that. Let's try the zoom. That's a pretty fast zoom. A bit jarring, maybe. As was the case in the last video, we have the pond covered over. So, you do get the sound of water, though, thankfully. So, look at the bushes instead. You look at this bush over here. So, what do I think of this particular phone's camera? I've seen it in action in other videos, and I mean, it doesn't ugh, bug in my face. It doesn't look bad. It might be good enough to pick up that bug flying right in my eye. That's nice. So, this is the Moto X Pure Edition 2015. I uh, managed to get my hands on one because I wanted to see what a 4K phone camera it was like, uh, and it was. And I like Motorola, so I went with one of these. I've heard that the I've seen in other videos that the picture is a bit darker. Um, you can turn on the light though, so for indoor videos like what I do, that wouldn't be a problem. I mean, so I could theoretically use a phone like this shooting 4K for YouTube, but probably not going to do that because the optics on my uh, Nikon camera are way better than this. But it's still nice to have the 4K feature on here, so that if you record like home videos or whatever, for normal pe when normal people do that stuff, they get good resolution out of it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I've never recorded anything in 4K or exported it in 4K, so this is part of the reason why I picked this up. I really wanted to try out 4K and see what it was like, while at the same time seeing what a flagship phone was like. And to be honest, I'm a little underwhelmed. Um, flagship phones aren't as wow as I thought they would be. Uh, it's just nice little things here and there, like the 4K camera, the, um, the SIM card slot and SD card tray up on top. Uh, there are a few things that I don't like, uh, and I'll go to the front camera to talk about those. Okay, the front camera is 1080p, so we're stuck in 1080p for this one. But there are a few things I don't like about 
uh, underwhelmed with with these flagships. The back of this phone is glued on. Not a fan of that because it doesn't let you change out the back if you want another one. I, well, at least easily. You can do it, but it's really glued on there with some adhesive. So you could theoretically um, heat it up with um, a heat gun or a hair dryer or whatever, uh, peel the back off, and put another one on with double sided tape. But it's a flagship. It should have that feature out of the box. The Moto G series has had that for a long time. So I, I don't understand, again, why. Uh, flagship series has less features than the mid-range. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, they've kind of fixed that with the Moto Z, where you have modular add-ons. I mean, the, the first three add-ons, three or four add-ons I've put out, aren't that spectacular because they're basically just prototypes, uh, like that Hasselblad camera. It's not amazing because it's just a pro. It's just basically to show off what you can do with that connector, and. Um, they're starting to fix that, but this, again, this was 2015. Still in 2015, they, they still didn't really know how to, how to put features on a flagship phone in, you know, the best way possible. I mean, I guess, I, at least in my opinion, I think, I'm guessing that they, um, they glue the back on because of water resistance or something like that, but they were doing that on the Moto G, so I, I just, I, I don't get that. I really don't get that. Um... Uh, you know, flagship phones have always confused me in the way they present their features. Samsung had it right for a long time, where they would um, give you removable battery, SD card slot, and SIM card slot, all in a flagship phone. The Galaxy S5 is the perfect example of that. What did they do with the S6? They tried to make it an iPhone. What did they do with the S7? sort of go where Motorola is now, where you have the SD card slot and the SIM slot, but you don't have um, that removable battery anymore. Whereas Motorola, on their low-end phones, you do have a removable battery. So it, I feel like flagships are supposed to have all the features. It's, it seems like these high-end phones just have specs, and that's really it. Like, it has this thing has a phenomenal screen. It has a front flash on the... Uh, the selfie camera, and, you know, for, it shoots in 4K and all that stuff, but it, I don't know, the feature sets are very confusing to me, it seems like they don't get this stuff right anymore. Again, when I have, when I shoot in 4K, I have to select it every time. I would like it to remember my setting, that would be very convenient. So, you know, I had a lot there to waffle on about, about flagship phones. This is my first taste of one. It's a bit underwhelming, but the camera on it seems pretty cool. I mean, shooting in 4K is neat, but unnecessary, I think. So, I mean, if you're if you're a type of person that makes videos with your phone, this is ideal. But otherwise, meh. Pretty cool, though. I mean, flagships are fun to play with. Have to admit. And I'll leave you with that. This has been a camera test of the Moto X Pure Edition 2015. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.